So today we are doing a PT MGS analysis on one of the lowest market cap ICOs we have seen in such a long time. It's pretty much unheard of now. Bounty Zero X. This one is super exciting and something you should definitely decide if it is worth your time and your money to jump into. <laughs> Hey there, YouTube. I'm Jean with CryptoPix. First, let's start with saying thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for the continued support. I also wanted to say sorry for not making more videos lately. Been super tied up with Thanksgiving, and yesterday was my daughter's very first birthday. She's getting old, guys, <laughs> but I love her. Thank you again for all your support. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Well, let's get started. So before we begin, what does PTMGS stand for? We got the problems they solve, the project idea, potential for generating revenue, the team, marketing, market cap, goals, and then summary slash stars rating of the project. So problems they solve. Bounty Zero X is trying to fix the issue of highly centralized bounty campaigns, which are susceptible to fraud. They're highly inefficient and they're limited in scope. They plan to extend the scope of what a bounty can be by making the process more efficient. So the project idea, their idea is to create a decentralized platform where bounty hunters will be able to receive payment and tokens in exchange for completing tasks for bounty host. Bounty Zero X's ultimate goal is to increase the efficiency for companies that would benefit from a decentralized workforce and bounty oriented reward model. Now for the potential for generating revenue. The token for Bounty Zero X is BNTY and it has three main purposes. First, it is used by bounty hunters where they can stake their BNTY tokens to participate in super bounties. If the submission is rejected though, the portion of their stake tokens are burned. So why are they doing this? So super bounties are checked manually by the team member of the startup. So it's important to ensure superior quality submissions to avoid wasting that individual's time. Second, the token is used by bounty sheriffs. They can stake their tokens to review bounties. If performed incorrectly, though, they will lose a portion of their tokens. But if it's done correctly, they may gain additional BNTY tokens and also bounty tokens from the startup. And this is used as a quality control mechanism. Bounty sheriffs are financially incentivized to perform reviews correctly. And then third, BNTY will be used by startups. They can purchase BNTY tokens to unlock additional premium features in the platform and hire additional services from the Bounty Zero X partners, such as community management. And this is used as a more efficient way of tracking and distributing payments to the platform and their partners. So now we have one of the most important parts, of course, the team. So with their team, I could really only find one star, and that is, I think his name is Dennis or Denise, I'm not sure. He is the CTO and lead developer in the project. He gets a superstar for his experience with big companies. He worked for Thompson Reuters as a software engineer. He worked for a company called Camp G Mini for four years. Sorry if I said that wrong. As a software developer lead there. So he, he has some significant experience with some big companies while working at Camp G Mini. <laughs> while working at that last company I just said. So that's something that's super significant with a project like this to have their lead developer with some good experience. So I did try to find another star and trust me, I tried super hard, but no one really stood out to me. The closest was Thomas Campbell, but he just didn't make my cut. Granted, this is based on my own criteria for stars and superstars, etc. So you can do your own research and maybe you find someone that sticks out. I just personally couldn't. But with that point, Pascal, I think that's how you say his name, is super active in the chat and super easy to talk to on Telegram. This guy is awesome. He's helped me so much just with my research and just getting to understand what Bounty Zero X is all about. I wish every single project had someone like him. <laughs> he makes it so much more enjoyable, so much more easier just to do research. Also, I confirm with Pascal that they plan on adding two more devs and one more salesperson after the crowd sale. So next we had their advisors. The only one that really stood out to me was Uwe Thelman. He, this one's exciting because he's the first one to use my new rating system. This is for the team and advisors where I'm going to have yellow stars and a green star. Yellow star being the superstar basically saying he's got significant experience in big name companies. 
such as Google, Amazon, just ones that have a pretty good name out there. And then green star, meaning they have significant experience. So let's say 20 years plus experience in the industry. 20 years pretty much makes you an expert in my opinion. Again, this is my own criteria. If you don't like it, give me some suggestions. So Uwe gets his two stars because he does have over 20 years experience in marketing, finance, and sales. And he gets his superstar, the yellow star, because he's experienced with P&G, Day None. I think that's how you say it. Again, I'm sorry if I keep getting these name wrong. Work with me here. And then Energizer. These are all super big companies. Check them out on LinkedIn. You'll see they're not, they're not small. So again, I'm adding the green star with just to give you a bit more detail on the teams. I had a few people complain like, hey, my criteria is too broad. This is how I'm going to solve that. I'm going to give you more detail by adding more stars. That way you can see just how experienced or how good that person actually is. So next we have their marketing. Their Twitter is super active with links to their dev updates and also information about their ICO sales. Facebook, it's not active. They haven't posted since October 20th. And it's actually the only day I could see that they posted two different updates. Then we got Medium, super active with their dev updates and announcements. YouTube is not active. They just have their introductory video that they use on their website. The Reddit's fairly active with the community. And then their Telegram, as I said earlier, super active. All three of their main team members are there to answer questions and just to discuss any concerns that the community has. So now with their competition, uh, Pascal said Gitcoin.co they consider to be a competitor. But outside that, I personally could not really find anybody except for private companies who team up with content creators and then normal individuals who are just looking to take care of ICO bounties. Outside of that, I couldn't find anybody. If you find anybody or you know of any other project let me know in the comments i will gladly pin it so people understand that there are other competition out there if not it's all i got now for the market cap which is the most exciting part of bounty zero x we got 110 million circulating supply that's for the token sale 500 million total supply their hard cap is 1.75 million super low like i said that's almost unheard of now their pre-sale, which was already completed, they had a 250,000 cap. That's all, $250,000. Their token price was 1.32 cents or 0 0.0132, however you want to look at it. Their main sale starts on December 15th for whitelisted individuals and then December 16th for non-whitelisted individuals such as myself. And their hard cap is 1.5 million and each token is 1.65 cents. And again, the best part of this ICO is their market cap, 1.75 million. That's almost unheard of. The only time you ever hear that is if the team and the project goes under the radar and they just couldn't sell the amount of tokens that they wanted to. I, I just think just off of this point alone, this one has huge potential. Again, I am super excited just because it's low market cap. Come on, guys. So they have a fairly detailed roadmap. The Q4 portion of 2017 isn't on their website roadmap, but has been confirmed by Pascal that these three tasks are ready to go and will go live fairly soon. Then we have 2018. This is where the magic starts happening. Q1, they're going to launch their beta for the platform and then start testing BNTY staking. Then Q2, they will launch the staking mechanism along with reputation and leaderboard system. Q3, their network will be up and running and they will start their buyback system. Q4, they will integrate into the District 0X network and start supporting external modules. So Bounty 0X, this one's super exciting because they're gonna launch on exchanges with such a tiny market cap, 1.75 million. Just keep that through your head. It's almost unheard of. They have a working prototype, which is almost a must have nowadays. And it's a huge plus. Their competition is basically non-existent and their team is super active with community. Granted, they don't have the best team out there. They do have a superstar that is actually a pretty huge role in the whole project. And they do have one great advisor. So believe me, I think this project is awesome. And I do personally want to jump in. It's up to you now to decide 
if it's worth throwing your money and your time into this. So with that being said, I'm giving Bounty 0x four stars. Now I will admit, this one was actually fairly tough for me to give them the four stars. I was on the fence between three and a half and four, but I did give them the four star nod because there's a lack of competition, they have a working product, and they have a super duper low market cap that's pretty much unheard of, along with having a super active team that is super involved with the community. I felt like they deserve that four star nod. So let me know, what are your thoughts on this project? Do you plan on investing? And if you're passing up on this project, why? Let, let me know. I want to, to know the positive and the negatives through the community. What are you guys thinking? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.